the National Route 45 Kaysanuma Bay Crossing Bridge Superstructure Construction Project is a major infrastructure development situated along the scenic San Riku Coastal Road, spanning Kaysanuma Bay and connecting the communities of Kaysanuma and Karakua South. This bridge is part of a 9-kilometer stretch known as the Kaysanuma Road, designed not only to facilitate regional traffic flow, but also to promote economic recovery and resilience in an area heavily affected by the 2011 Tohoku earthquake and tsunami. The bridge's unique design and robust construction make it a hallmark of modern engineering and a leading project in Japan's post-disaster reconstruction efforts. The Keisanuma Bay Crossing Bridge will adopt a cable-stayed design, characterized by cables that extend from a central tower to support the bridge deck. This design is favored for both its aesthetic appeal and its structural integrity, particularly in areas prone to seismic activity like Japan's northeastern coast. Cable-stayed bridges are distinct because they balance the bridge's deck through tensioned cables attached to towers, making them capable of spanning longer distances with fewer supports. The Kaysanuma Bay Bridge's design will contribute to the region's stunning coastal landscape, with the cables and central tower forming a visually striking geometric silhouette. The bridge's superstructure construction involves two primary areas, the Kakashio area and the Asahi area. In these sections, key construction activities include installing massive beams to form the bridge's framework. Each beam in the superstructure weighs a substantial 122.4 tons, including lifting equipment. The total weight handled in these operations reaches 133.9 tons, requiring advanced equipment and precise engineering expertise to ensure safety and stability throughout the construction process. To manage the substantial weight and complexity of the beams used in the bridge's superstructure, Oya Transport has deployed heavy-duty equipment specifically suited to large-scale construction projects. This equipment includes two Liebherr LR1750 HS800 crawler cranes, each with a lifting capacity of 750 tons, and a Tadano AR5500M all-terrain crane with a 550-ton lifting capacity. These cranes are essential in precisely lifting and positioning the massive beams that make up the bridge's core structure. The Liebherr LR1750 HS800 crawler cranes are particularly suited for projects requiring powerful, stable, and high-reach lifting capacity, thanks to their crawler base, which provides a broad foundation for stability on uneven or challenging terrains. Meanwhile, the Tadano AR5500M all-terrain crane adds versatility, with its mobility allowing it to handle complex lifting operations across varying parts of the construction site. A symbol of resilience and future growth beyond its impressive engineering, the Kaysanuma Bay Crossing Bridge holds significant symbolic value. As a vital part of the San Riku Coastal Road, it is a critical element in the region's ongoing efforts to recover and rebuild after the devastation caused by the 2011 disaster. The bridge is a testament to the resilience of the affected communities, embodying their determination to rebuild stronger, safer, and better connected. The bridge will enhance accessibility between Kaysanuma and nearby regions, stimulating economic opportunities by facilitating transportation of goods, services, and people. It is anticipated to boost tourism in this picturesque coastal area, further supporting local businesses and revitalizing the regional economy. The Yellowstone River Bridge, completed in 2022 by Wadsworth Brothers Construction, is a key infrastructure component of the Billings Bypass Project in Montana. This impressive structure spans the Yellowstone River, connecting communities and paving the way for improved transportation in the Billings area. The bridge serves as a crucial link between Lockwood and the Billings Heights, making travel more efficient for residents, businesses, and visitors alike. When the entire bypass project is complete, it will significantly enhance connectivity, reduce traffic congestion in Billings, and promote economic development. The bridge is an essential part of a multi-phase project aimed at building an approximately 5.5-mile corridor that includes roadways, roundabouts, and other infrastructure improvements. The Billings Bypass is designed to create an alternative route that bypasses central Billings, 
alleviating the burden on existing roads and improving safety and mobility in the region. The Yellowstone River Bridge is strategically located to enable seamless travel over the river, helping drivers avoid congested urban routes and providing a more direct connection between the industrial area of Lockwood and the growing residential and commercial region of Billings Heights, the construction of the Yellowstone River Bridge involved careful planning and engineering to address the challenges of building over the expansive river. Wadsworth Brothers Construction, a well-regarded company known for complex infrastructure projects, employed modern construction techniques and materials to ensure the bridge's durability, safety, and functionality. Environmental considerations were also a priority, as the Yellowstone River is an important ecosystem, Construction was managed to minimize disruption to local wildlife and water quality. Once the entire Billings Bypass project is completed, the Yellowstone River Bridge will play an integral role in supporting local transportation needs and enabling regional growth. It is not just a bridge but a vital infrastructure asset that represents progress, connectivity, and economic potential for the communities in and around Billings. The bridge exemplifies the foresight and investment needed to meet the transportation demands of a growing population while respecting the natural environment. The Clearwater Memorial Causeway, also known as the Clearwater Bridge, is a crucial link between Clearwater, Florida and Clearwater Beach, carrying State Route 60 across the intracoastal waterway. Its history dates back to the early 20th century, when Clearwater was a small town in the newly formed Pinellas County, the first bridge built around 1915 was a wooden structure that connected residents and beachgoers, serving as the county's initial bridge infrastructure. As Clearwater's population grew in the 1920s, a reinforced concrete drawbridge replaced the original wooden span, marking the first of many upgrades to support increasing traffic demands. By the 1960s, Clearwater and its beach areas experienced significant growth, driven by tourism and residential development. To handle this rise in traffic, the Florida Department of Transportation, FDOT, constructed a new high-level drawbridge in 1963. This four-lane drawbridge not only expanded capacity, but also allowed for larger vessels to pass through the waterway by raising the span. For decades, this bridge served as a reliable connection. Although congestion increased with the expansion of Clearwater Beach and Sand Key's high-rise condos, in the late 1990s, ongoing development created further strain on the 1963 drawbridge, which was struggling to keep up with rising vehicular and pedestrian traffic. After careful consideration, FDOT decided to replace the aging structure with a high-level fixed bridge, eliminating the need for a drawbridge altogether. Construction of the new bridge began in 2001 but faced notable delays and issues, including a major structural crack in one of the bridge piers in 2004. The project's contractor, PCL Civil Constructors Inc., also faced challenges on the Selman Crosstown Expressway project in Tampa where similar structural issues arose. Upon completion in 2005, the Clearwater Memorial Causeway's new fixed bridge opened with improved views, providing a scenic journey westbound toward the beaches and eastbound with views of Clearwater's downtown skyline. The route for FL60 was redirected to Court Street, facilitating better traffic flow into downtown Clearwater and preserving Cleveland Street as a quieter, city-maintained road. Today, the Clearwater Memorial Causeway remains an architectural centerpiece and vital thoroughfare, appreciated both for its utility and the scenic experience it offers to drivers and pedestrians alike. PSCE Beam is an advanced construction technique, classified as New Construction Technology No. 517 by the Ministry of Land, Transport and Maritime Affairs, valid between January 30, 2007 and January 29, 2015. This innovative approach uses pre-stressed concrete, PSC, in the form of eye girders, which are specially designed to maximize the efficiency of pre-stressing forces. By adding reinforced steel plates to the upper flange of the central section, PSC E-beam increases the eccentricity effectiveness of the pre-stressing strands, thereby enhancing the structural strength and stability of the bridge. 
The PSCE beam method allows for economical bridge designs, as demonstrated in the specifications of these projects, with each bridge span measuring 45 meters, totaling 450 meters in length, with a width of 16.5 meters and a height of 2.3 meters. One of the core features of PSCE beam is its continuous construction method, which is particularly suited for long span, low height PSCI girders. The girders' continuous sections are fully integrated through connection plates and pre-stressing strands, creating a seamless structure with enhanced load-bearing capabilities. The use of secondary tensioning further improves the girders' structural performance, adding an extra layer of resilience to the bridge. Additionally, PSCE beam includes a dedicated maintenance sheath that contributes to the longevity of the structure by simplifying maintenance tasks, ensuring that the pre-stressing strands remain protected over time. This technology has been employed in large-scale infrastructure projects, including the Galmagok and Sinchi coastal bridges, where it has contributed to the construction of stable and cost-effective bridges. In essence, PSCE Beam provides a practical solution for creating durable, high-performance bridges with extended spans and minimal maintenance requirements. Its application in real-world projects showcases its effectiveness in addressing structural and economic demands, making it a valuable addition to modern bridge engineering. The Tokyo Gate Bridge, also referred to as the Dinosaur Bridge due to its distinctive shape, is an iconic structure in Tokyo Bay. Known for its impressive design and engineering, this truss bridge stretches over the bay at a height of approximately 70 meters above sea level. The bridge facilitates traffic flow between central Tokyo and the Wakasu area, allowing both vehicle and pedestrian passage and serving as an important link in the city's transportation network. Engineers constructed the Tokyo Gate Bridge with precision and a keen understanding of environmental effects on materials. The bridge's tolerance for structural deviation is highly limited, with an error margin of only 2 mm, reflecting the exacting standards needed to maintain stability, safety and functionality. Temperature variations significantly impact the bridge's materials, particularly the steel used throughout its framework. Steel, a common material for large structures, expands in response to temperature increases. For the Tokyo Gate Bridge, every 1 degree Celsius rise in temperature results in an expansion of 1.2 mm per 100 square meters of steel. With Tokyo's summer temperatures often reaching high levels, this expansion factor is crucial in the bridge's maintenance and structural integrity. The bridge design takes these slight expansions and contractions into account, allowing it to withstand the stresses associated with thermal changes without compromising its strength or safety. Precision engineering, like calculating the anticipated thermal expansion, helps keep the bridge operational under varying weather conditions. Standing against the backdrop of Tokyo Bay, the Tokyo Gate Bridge is an example of modern engineering that balances form with functionality. Its distinct shape, attention to detail, and durability under environmental conditions make it a landmark and a marvel of structural resilience. Engineers continue to monitor its performance, using this bridge as a case study in managing thermal expansion in large-scale steel constructions. Through careful planning and design, the Tokyo Gate Bridge exemplifies Tokyo's commitment to infrastructure that is both visually striking and engineered. Mentoro Viaduct, located on State Road 675 Umbro Lazial between Terna and Orte, has recently undergone a major restoration project led by Anna's, part of the Italian infrastructure group FS Italiane. The viaduct, an essential transportation link between these two towns, faced significant challenges that required both urgent and innovative solutions. On Friday, July 17, following the completion of the first phase of repair work, the viaduct reopened for traffic, albeit with restrictions, allowing vehicles of all sizes, including heavy trucks, to use only the passing lane in both directions. Vehicles exceeding 44 tons, however, are not permitted to cross until the entire project is complete. 
The restoration of the Montoro Viaduct introduced advanced engineering techniques that are rarely used in conventional bridge repairs. In place of dismantling or demolishing compromised sections, the project team adopted a solution that enabled the entire structure to remain intact. One of the most notable techniques involved lifting the bridge deck and realigning a tilted support pier, referred to as Pier 3. Specialized hydraulic jacks, mounted on movable slides, were employed to realign this critical component of the bridge. This innovative approach minimized the need for demolishing two spans of the viaduct, which greatly reduced both the time and costs typically associated with such large-scale repairs. The need for restoration became apparent during a routine structural inspection conducted beneath the viaduct. During the inspection, engineers identified an alarming structural issue. The top of Pier 3 had shifted, indicating a rotation that could compromise the bridge's stability. Recognizing the urgency of the problem, the project team devised a creative solution aimed at restoring the vertical alignment of the pier without requiring the removal of the entire deck. The engineers developed a plan that involved the use of rigid beams to link the two bridge decks, and they installed sliding hydraulic jacks to gradually push the tilted pier back into alignment. This approach provided the structural support needed to realign the pier and secure it to the existing structure, ensuring both safety and durability. To carry out the repairs safely, each section of the bridge deck was reinforced with six beams anchored with steel supports, stabilized by dark-colored brackets beneath the beams. Temporary brackets were installed to lift the deck initially, allowing workers to replace old supports and other structural components. Additionally, a set of structural supports, known as dragons, were placed strategically to improve the viaduct's overall stability and safety. A detailed engineering plan highlighted the arrangement of these beams and dragons on the bridge. Four main supports painted in distinct colors for visibility were positioned along the road, serving as anchors to secure the bridge during the repair process. The outer beam closest to the mountainside was identified as particularly vulnerable, and it received additional reinforcements, including high-strength steel bars and metal struts. These elements provided extra support, allowing the weight to be distributed across the deck and reducing strain on individual supports. Throughout the project, a centralized control station closely monitored the repair operations. This station displayed data such as the pressure and elevation levels for each hydraulic jack, allowing engineers to make precise adjustments to maintain balance across the structure. This meticulous monitoring was crucial for ensuring that pressure levels remained even, preventing further tilting or shifts in the viaduct's foundation. Since early September 2023, Hamburg's new U5 East project has marked a milestone with the installation of two new bridges near Sengelmannstrasse. These structures, part of the city's latest expansion of its public transit network, are designed to facilitate the construction of the U5 subway line, a project aimed at significantly enhancing Hamburg's transportation infrastructure. In Section 1 of the project, nearly 500 tons of steel were used to create the large Sengelmannstrasse bridge. The bridge installation was a complex and carefully planned weekend operation. For moving the larger bridge deck into place, engineers relied on self-propelled modular transporters, SPMTs, highly specialized vehicles known for their precision and load-bearing capacity. These SPMTs transported the massive deck across a temporary embankment that spanned one of Hamburg's main traffic arteries. This temporary structure allowed the SPMTs to maneuver the bridge deck into its designated position with minimal disruption to traffic. Meanwhile, the smaller bridge deck was lifted into place using a mobile crane, further demonstrating the coordination and expertise involved in the operation. This bridge installation is a key advancement in the U5 project, which, once complete, will provide Hamburg residents with improved connectivity and transit options. The U5 line is part of Hamburg's broader vision to reduce traffic congestion and promote sustainable urban transportation solutions.